Hello everyone. Uh, tonight we are going to be carving some of the pieces that came out of the plaster molds from the slip cast demonstration before. So one of the things that we had slip cast was this ginger jar and as you can see I painted some of the black underglaze onto it and it's still kind of wet um, so whenever it is shiny like that, you definitely don't want to carve it, but the type of underglaze that I use is this, it's the reward underglaze and it's a low fire glaze, but I like taking it to the higher temperatures because the underglaze starts to, it's called, it fluxes or it becomes vitreous or glass like. And so, um, I like experimenting with the temperatures and using different glazes. So um, that way I'm not putting a clear glaze over it and you're kind of experiencing the clay more than um, a clear glass over it. Uh, some of the other forms that I cast was this little, little creamer and another little cup here, which still, this one's not ready to go yet. Um, and another little cup here. So I can show you like this cup, this is the same kind of form and you can see how much it shrank. Um, and you can see how the black becomes really, really rich once the image is carved out. And once it's fired, I fire it to cone six, five or six, depending. Um, and Here's the glaze. So in order to carve it, you're gonna use a couple different tools. You're gonna to use, this This is called a wire stylus, which is a WS, it's a Kemper tool. And there's also, this is called a mini ribbon sculpting tool or MRS, and it's a little loop. They come in um, triangles and little squares, but I like just the little loop. So in order to carve, what I typically do is, this is the large vase that um, I slip cast yesterday. And as you can see, I got my two coats of the underglaze on here and it's nice and dry and ready to go. And you can see it has little dents. I started carving a little bit on the back, but I will show you um, how I go about carving. And a lot of times for me, I don't mind that it's kind of um, has little dents in it and what have you, because it has a more interesting surface area to carve into. Um, and for me, it's almost like cloud watching. I just kind of look into the surface and it sounds kind of hokey, but I see, I kind of see different things <clears throat> like cloud watching. And then I will just start carving that. So I actually see kind of an old man with his nose. Let me see his arm. And I'm just taking that tool and I'm starting to, I don't know if you can see it okay. Let's see, move it up here a little bit so you can see. Here, he's kind of playing a guitar. There, he's got a pretty big nose. And for me, this makes it, this is actually the thing I wait for with creating ceramics. I love to carve and I don't know if it's because it's the physicality of it. Um, and also kind of not knowing what it's gonna be. I kind of just really enjoy that. Um, and you've heard, or maybe you haven't heard, but I like to call it the schlumpy funk kind of movement. Uh, and schlumpy funk to me is, let's see, um, the funk movement was actually a clay movement in the 70s, uh, headed up by um, some clay artists like Robert Arneson and Viola Frey. And they kind of poked fun at society, a lot of times political, especially Art Robert Arneson, his work political, but his work was really kind of slick and very refined. Um, and so the schlumpy funk is, it is obviously not very slick, it's schlumpy, and schlumpy is a Yiddish word, kind of disheveled, um, kind of unkempt. 
And so it also embraces wabi-sabi, which is a Japanese aesthetic, um, that kind of leaving things kind of undone, half undone. So I, I kind of look at it as um, kind of a combination of the funk movement, which also is improvisational, like the jazz movement, and um, the schlumpy, which is kind of unsheveled or disheveled. So here we go. So this tool is great for the drawing part. And then I would use this tool to start carving out kind of the bigger areas. So, but typically I first outline everything and then I will go back in and kind of clean out the background. So in the next video, I'll show you kind of once it's all done, what it looks like, and then it will be fired once and glazed once. Um, but thank you again for joining and have a lovely evening. Take care. Bye.